Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor and a privilege to welcome you to this webinar this afternoon. And without further ado, respectful of your time, I would like to begin by introducing the first speaker for this evening. In 1998, something extraordinary happened. 28 children in the vestry of a church in Cape Town represented the start of the outstanding community we are addressing today. Dr. Chris van der Merwe, who started the Curo School Group, began his journey humbly, but soon was awarded World Entrepreneur Status by Ernst & Young in 2013 for his outstanding contributions to the field of education. Further, he was Businessman of the Year in Belleville 2011, Businessman of the Year Durbanville 2017. And his passion is clear when one varies and views the academic qualifications that have marked his professional experience. From a bachelor's in primary education to another bachelor's in education to a master's in, in, in education from which he graduated cum laude to a doctorate in education. He has clearly spent his life focused on a passionate engagement with the importance of education to the development of the world and more especially South Africa. He listed Stadio Holdings in October 2017 with a dream and a dream that has come to fruition today. So without further ado, please, it's a great honor to introduce to you someone who probably needs no introduction to the special audience today, Dr. Chris van der Merkel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, especially if there's any grade 10, 11, and 12 uh, learners uh, listening this evening and watching. Uh, in this short session, uh, it will be a, a privilege and an honor to share uh, some possibilities with uh, our Kiro learners. And I sincerely hope um, that the message of this evening can be meaningful and can bring about change in the lives of so many aspiring youngsters in this country. Key question should be asked, why, why are we doing this? Why did we create Kiro? Why did we create Stadio? Now, you can remember back in the days we always said, um, Kiro is a Latin word that can be aligned with a picture of a learner uh, not running on a racing track, but learning in or on his or her own learning pathway at his or her, her own pace, according to his or her own attitudes, aptitudes, and talents. Then we created Stadio. So while you are completing the race of learning, you are actually entering a stadium where you have the great opportunity to complete um, this marathon learning race and top uh, your studies up with the accomplishment of a bachelor's degree. If I could pick one topic for this evening, I would, I would say how absolutely important it is for every youngster uh, to obtain at least a bachelor's degree. So if you take a look at this slide, the current unemployment rate in South Africa is sitting critically high at about 30%. And people must start doing something about this. Now, the positive news is that we all have seen that lately there's a much more intensive willingness for the state sector and the private sector to hold hands. Um, in my networks, I can clearly see it. I lie haze with many, many top educationalists, with many rectors of universities, with top, top politicians. And I can assure you that um, lots and lots and lots is going on in the background right now 
to make the state sector and the private sector whole lands. But uh, me being in the private sector, I really feel that Stadio has a great opportunity here to do something about embettering um, the situation that our country find itself in, in terms of joblessness. Now, if you take a look at this, research indicates that if you take all the people that obtained a bachelor's degree, amongst those, the unemployment rate sits as low as 5%, which tells the tale that if you aspire to get a bachelor's degree and once you're successful, you are definitely giving yourself a great chance to land a job. The, uh, the concept of going to a university in the private sector, and I'm putting the word university in inverted commas because we may not use the terminology university in the private sector, but technically, whether it's an institute uh, of tertiary education in the private sector versus a university, later in my speech, I'm going to give you a couple of reasons why they are actually performing exactly the same job with the same status level. But if you take a look at this slide, it's clear that since the year 2000 to 2017, the number of first year students at our universities, and I'm including the 26 public universities as well, almost doubled from 98,095 to 193,282. If you compare this with um, uh, the global trends, it's exactly the same. Globally, the trend has also doubled. But if you focus on this slide, what's kind of disturbing is that in the beginning of 2017, our 26 public universities could only accept about 195,000 first year uh, 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 youngsters. Whilst at the end of 2016, 442,672 learners, grade 12s, uh, passed with all the qualities and all the accolades that's needed to enter higher education. <laughs> and that leaves us with a sad story because the question that we are asking, what happened to the other almost 250,000 learners who all qualified with higher education exemption? Surely they must also find themselves busy obtaining the one or other qualification in the sphere of higher education. So studying in the private sector isn't all that strange because if you compare our country, for instance, to Brazil, I, I use Brazil because I know the educational system of Brazil. For instance, they have over 120 uh, private medical schools, 71% um, of all their higher education students find themselves studying at private institutes. Also in Chile, look at, look at just how high the percentage is. So studying at a place of instruction in the higher educational sphere is definitely not a strange phenomenon. Looking at the current challenge, we really believe that now is the time that we can do something and play a huge role in the future of, of our, our kids. Um, let me also reiterate on behalf of the PSG group, uh, on behalf of the Kiro group, the Stadio group, the Optimi group, these are all three educational brands under the auspices of the major shareholder PSG. I want to give our parents and our youngsters the reassurance that we believe in this country and that the main or senior shareholder are behind us in terms of securing the development of an attractive place of study. Now, 
The key function of Stadio is to widen access. We want, I refer to the, to the 250,000 young people that actually don't go to, to, to a place of instruction in higher education. And we just said, if a bachelor's degree can give you a fair chance, a much better chance to earn or land a job, we want to play amongst other role players as well. We're not the only one, but we want to stick out our heads and we want to play a dynamic role in terms of making studies possible for more and more and more grade 12s. You know, state universities, despite the fact that they're doing sterling work, sterling work, our, our top universities in this country uh, kicks out <laughs> incredible uh, uh, young, young people at, at, various, at various levels of the NQF. Nothing wrong about that. The problem is they are, they are, they are full. So if you take a look at one or two examples, I, I, I don't want to mention the names of these universities, but I actually work very close with them. Some of them uh, receive anything between five and 7,000 applicants uh, to become first year students. Um, sorry between 20 and 40,000, I'm going to repeat that. Some of them receive between 20 and 40,000 applicants to be allowed at first year level. Yet, they can only accommodate between 5,000 and 7,000 students uh, in the first year. Now, now, you know, I have worked with 10 year olds all my life. And I know as a teacher how excited these youngsters are if you tell them you know what, you can become an engineer, you can become a doctor, you can become a lawyer, you can become, become a teacher, you can become a pilot. And then you see these statistics that the universities can't actually um, accept everyone. Um, so I am very much driven to help uh, amongst others as well, making a success of it. To our parents, please understand that it's not the specific brand of a university alone that gives it its status or quality levels. There is only one body in the country, and it works like this globally, that actually adjudicates a university to be fit enough to provide quality instruction. It's only one body that can actually give the youngster and the parent etc the reassurance that the quality of the degree uh, is fine and can compete with the world's best and that's the council on higher education they take a look at the written curricula that are implemented both in the case of the publics and as well as the privates so the quality in terms of the written curricula whether your child goes to a private university or an institute in this private, private sector. The quality is absolutely the same. The other two factors that actually um, plays a role in quality is of course, um, the quality of the person that is mediating the written curriculum as well as the facilities. So in time, Stadio will offer most qualifications found at our public universities. We do aspire to do that. This is a picture of the National Qualification Framework. I'm sure all the parents have seen this. So to our grade 10, 11, and 12 learners, you are currently at level four if you're a grade 12 learner. The moment you enter higher education, you make your way up through levels five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and eventually you should all aspire to wear that red gown um, achieving a doctorate. Now, Stadio plays in the zone that was just highlighted from level 5 to 10. Now, parents, please note, if your youngster <clears throat> didn't pass with a bachelor uh, exemption, a bachelor degree exemption, all is not lost. You can then enter yourself for a higher certificate at level five 
at tertiary level in the sphere of higher education. And once you get a higher certificate, you can get access to a bachelor's degree course if there's alignment between the subjects. I have helped more than 20, 30, 40 youngsters to go that route. And most of them are now busy with their bachelor's degree. I can also assure you that like Kiro, we strive towards affordable education, both in the case of Kiro, as well as in the case of Stadio. We will implement best endeavors to keep it affordable. We received very, very good news about two, three weeks ago when the regulator allowed us to migrate all our qualifications from four of, of our brands into Stadio. Of course, the aim is to get all our qualifications into Stadio over time, but four of our six brands are already incorporated into Stadio, as well as the fact that Stadio always had a faculty of education. So two, three, four months ago, we were seven brands. Now there's already five brands that's incorporated into Stadio. And these are not being referred to as brands anymore. They are referred to as the different faculties. This is my part of this evening's speech. Uh, at this stage, I want to introduce a lady to you, uh, Atalisha Harilal, the lady that introduced me, spectacular lady, very much in touch with the youth. She understands their, their whole world. I've seen her speaking and engaging with young tertiary students, school leavers, etc. She's got 12 years experience in tertiary education specifically helping and guiding the youngsters to, to find that course at a university that's suitable for their needs. And of course, in line with their um, attitudes, attitudes and talents. Now, Atalisha carries a master's degree. Uh, she has a wide, wide, wide spectrum of skills in higher education. And it is my honor to introduce Atalisha Harilal to you. She will share with the grade 10, 11, and 12 youngsters which qualifications we have, how you enroll, and listen carefully to her speech and wait for that part where she explains to you how easy it is actually to enroll at Stadio. Thank you, Atalisha. Thank you so much. Oh, what an introduction. No pressure at all there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just a housekeeping matter quickly before we proceed with the presentation. If you're watching us live on YouTube, there is a chat feature as well as a comment feature, which you can use to direct your questions to any of us, the two panelists here with you this afternoon. Once your question is in the comment section, when we get to our question and answer time at the end of my next segment, we will be happy to address your questions. If you're feeling a little bit nervous and you don't want to address it in the comment section, please note we will be putting up a hold all email address and it's my email address that I attend to personally. So if you email your questions there, I will happily respond to you within three days. So last year, I had the privilege of going around to visit the Curo schools to say to them, we've got something exciting that is coming, almost a trailer. And this year, I'm honored to come back and say that Stadio Higher Education is here. It's landed. And I have the privilege of introducing you to our variety of faculties this evening. So to the matric class of Kuro Creston, this is for you. The world isn't what it was yesterday. What worked then may not work now. What worked for others may not work for you. For Stadio, a qualification isn't just a qualification. It's more South Africans equipped with the education they need. It's more students inspired to reimagine their possibilities. 
It's an entire nation empowered. With five faculties, 10 campuses, and over 50 accredited qualifications, undergraduate and postgraduate studies, contact, distance, and blended learning, and a combined 100-year track record of excellence. We are transforming higher education into something that's truly multi-faculty, multi-campus, and multi-mode. Next time you think about what you want to do with your life, Think about where you want to do it. This is Stadio, a new vision in higher education. Yes, goosebumps every time. That AV has been a few weeks in production, so we are absolutely excited to show it to you today. Stadio, a new vision in higher education. So this one throws people, by the way, this is our billboard. So if you're driving on the national roads in the Gauteng area, you will spot it. Um, it says a brand new institution with over 100 years of experience. It's cool to note that we got to 100 years of experience by bringing together four prestigious institutions, the Southern Business School, Emory Institute for Higher Education, Lysof, and Prestige Academy. To bring together all this academic experience, all this expertise, in a brand new one studio. We have five faculties, 10 campuses and 50 accredited qualifications. And this experience is truly multi-faculty, multi-campus and multi-mode. We offer also the full spread of qualifications, higher certificates, diplomas and degrees, but also postgraduate qualifications as Dr. Fanumara explained to you, right from honors, right to doctorates. So this is it, the big thing, the package, the message that you need to keep at the forefront of your mind. I'm gonna quickly go through the faculties in which we offer our qualifications. So I'm gonna start with the Faculty of Commerce, Administration and Management, focusing in especially on the School of Commerce. So I'm sure there's many aspirant accountants listening to us speak today, um, many who have dreams of driving the world of finance and business and this faculty and school is where you'll find your home. Again, notice the spread of qualifications from higher certificate into bachelor's degrees, allowing you to pathway a journey to the qualification of your dreams. We then have the School of Administration and Management, one of the most sought after employable qualifications out there at the moment, the Bachelor of Business Administration, teaching you all the intricacies of driving a large business to success. Then we have the School of Management for Safety in Society. If you have a higher calling and you want to become part of the team which defends the country and keeps the citizens safe, you can look to the School of Management for Safety in Society and join any one of the programs in policing and policing practice. We then come to the Faculty of Education, School of Education. We all have a teacher who changed our lives, um, who we think back on fondly. And in the School of Education, there's the full qualifications to empower you to become the type of teacher who will leave a legacy. In the Faculty of Arts and Design, the first school we have is the School of Fashion. Now, I know a lot of you have your um, Insta model inspiration type fashion, but fashion is more than just looking good or choosing the right clothes and having the right aesthetic. It is a multi-million dollar business. And I've been learning this through my interactions with the smart people in the School of Fashion that drives economies. So it's important not just to learn about how to have taste and understanding color, but also to engage in the business of fashion. And at the School of Fashion, you have a full range of qualifications to empower you to find employability while pursuing your passion. In the School of Media and Design, one of our highlighted qualifications is the Bachelor of Applied Arts in 3D Animation. One of the few accredited bachelors in 3D animation now. So if your dream is to take your visual arts bent and talent and make it into something that you can gain employability with, so pursue your passion, 
but employability, the qualifications in the School of Media and Design are perfect for that. Again, you can do anything from makeup design to visual communication. Thereafter, we move to the Faculty of Law. So many potential legal eagles who are apt at negotiating down punishments and uh, increasing allowances. If you see yourself as the next lawyer or watch a lot of law procedurals, then this may be the school where you will find yourself. We have the full gamut of legal qualifications offering both a Bachelor of Laws, a Bachelor of Commerce in Laws and a higher certificate in paralegal studies. And last but not least, one of the most future-proof industries that you can enter into is certainly the Faculty of Science and Technology, specifically the School of IT. So the School of IT offers bachelor's degrees as well as a higher certificate. And it's important to note the role that technology is now playing in the growing way people work and interact with each other. And in the School of IT, we intend to create that type of graduate who has a passion to grow this very important sector for the future. Also important to note, you'll see at the right-hand corner of this presentation spreadsheet, there's a little dot saying contact learning and another one saying distance learning. So our qualifications, as we said, a truly multi-mode experience means that you can experience our qualifications, some on distance learning and some on contact learning. The reason for this is to cater to the variety of needs present among school leavers today. For some of us, we're looking for that campus experience. We want to interact with our friends on the quad. We want to participate in on-campus activities. Then you would go for a contact learning option. For others, we want to enter into the world of work while studying our qualification and engaging with our studies. You would then enter for the distance learning. It's also important to note that we're not just looking at the needs of school leavers. If I'm speaking today and there is a mom or dad who had to abandon their tertiary education to pursue their goals and take care of their family, it's never too late to jump on a qualification and achieve the success you had envisioned for yourself when you were younger. With us, distance learning does not put you at a distance. So the good news, okay, a lot of people say apply now, but not very many say reply now. So if you click on apply now, and I'm going to show you very soon a short navigation of what our website actually looks like. If you click on apply now, we have no application fee. And if you meet our academic requirements, you will receive a same day conditional offer. So when we say apply now, we really mean now. Meet the requirements and receive a conditional offer. How do you access all of our qualifications, all of the 10 campuses with a national footprint? Very easy. One website, stadio.ac.za, and one telephone number, 087 158 5000. I just want to pause and take a breath and tell you a bit more about our telephone number and why it's important that you actually give us a call. I know everyone likes to live on text, but sometimes you need to talk to a human being. It's very difficult to make the choice when it comes to tertiary education and decide which field suits you. Often we have different influences. We have our parents wanting us to do one career. We have our peers who may be entering into other fields and we want to stay with them because we've been with them on the school journey. Or we find that we have too many areas of interest. When you call 87 you will come through to a Stadio student advisor. Now, a student advisor's job is very simple. The name says it all. They spend their time helping students to make the best qualification choice to match their aptitude, what they're good at, with their ambition, where do they see themselves. And it's, it's a very pivotal choice, ladies and gentlemen, because when you're making this choice, you are choosing the career that you are going to pursue for the rest of your life. And then finally, the email address I had mentioned to you earlier on in the conversation, hello at stadio.ac.za. Okay, so this is what our website looks like. And if you log on, this will be the homepage that you will see. And then you can just see our search bar where you can search 
the qualifications of your interest. Okay, you can browse our faculties, our schools, our courses. And if you go onto the pages, you will interact with the various information from the various faculties that will help you to make your qualification choice. So a cool feature to note, if you look at the top of every page, you'll see there's buttons that say apply now, call me back and contact us. You can also click to download information. This is where you will be able to download all the information, entry requirements, fees, module descriptors, the curriculum of your particular program, and explore these at your leisure. Okay. When you download one of our info packs, it's an easy to reference guide that you can print out and refer to with your parents or with your LO teacher to get advice and to match whether these modules, these entry requirements are aligning to your ambition for yourself. So if you click on faculties and schools, you'll find all the various faculties that I had mentioned to you in your presentation. And if you click on distance or contact learning, you'll find the qualification of your interests grouped by contact or distance learning. So here you can see a comprehensive list of all our campuses nationally. We do have a national footprint, as well as our campuses in Namibia and how you can contact us there. Now the good one, you've clicked on apply now. You're then gonna click on apply online now. This will start your learning journey with Stadio. You will be prompted to create your profile. And when you do this, this will be your password and username for your profile throughout your registration journey. <coughs> Excuse me. It's pretty easy to fill in that form and from there on interact with us as and when you need to. So now, when I went around on my road trip, I promised the students that because we have such a close relationship, and we are family, we're gonna prepare some special discounts for our Kuro fam. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'm happy to announce to you that we will be providing, and this is only for Kuro students, a 10% discount on distance learning programs with Stadio and a 15% contact learning discount. So if you pursue studies with us and you go on that website tour and you click on fees and payments, when you look at that fee schedule, you'll know that your 10% or 15% discount is only for you and you can think of the affordability in terms of that discount. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, the last thought I want to leave you with today is the three most important pillars of Stadio. These are not just things we've written in a business plan, put on a shelf or saved on a file and forgotten. These are things that drive what we do and how we choose to do it every single day. And it makes me really excited because education is a field where you are working to change lives. Every time you register a student, you're helping them on the road to achieve their success. And for us, the first thing we're concerned about is widening access. Now, a lot of times we see the same story when it comes to matric. Student has seven A's, achieves entry to university, all the way to an actuarial science degree and will go on to conquer the world. Does this mean that someone who has 65% is less likely to conquer the world? Stadio is for the exceptional, but also to give an opportunity to the potential of everybody else. So if you have a vision that you will change the world, we have a pathway to the degree that can get you to where you need to go. We also wanna make sure that we are constantly aligning to the world of work. When we send our students to study, we send them to study with the ambition that they will achieve a career of their dreams. They will build a lifestyle for themselves and their family, leave a legacy. And aligning to the world of work means our qualifications are aligned to the cutting edge requirements of the world of work to ensure a more employable and holistically developed graduate when they cross that stage at the end of their academic journey. It also means aligning with the world of work in terms of providing us with 
bursaries to ensure that we can assist deserving students. Thirdly, student-centeredness. Our academic head often says, students at the center of all we do. And it is a concept we discuss in meetings, a concept that we hold sacred, student-centeredness. Every decision we make, every program we create is to drive student success. And whatever we do is centered around what is best practice for the student. And these are the three things that make up the Stadio difference. We want to widen access, we want to align to the world of work, and we want to create student success. The world isn't what it was yesterday. What worked then may not work now. What worked for others may not work for you. For Stadio, a qualification isn't just a qualification. It's more South Africans equipped with the education they need. It's more students inspired to reimagine their possibilities. It's an entire nation empowered. With five faculties, 10 campuses, and over 50 accredited qualifications, undergraduate and postgraduate studies, contact, distance, and blended learning, and a combined 100-year track record of excellence. We are transforming higher education into something that's truly multi-faculty, multi-campus, and multi-mode. Next time you think about what you want to do with your life, think about where you want to do it. This is Stadio, a new vision in higher education. Thank you everybody for your participation and this evening. We're now going to open to the question and answer section. So remember, if you have any question for us, please would you direct them to the comment section or the live chat on YouTube. If you're not comfortable to have your question answered publicly or you just wanna ask something um, specific, please feel free to email hello at stadio.ac.za. Hello at stadio.ac.za. All right, so let's begin with the first question, one that we received yesterday as well, and it's from Con Connie Lamprecht, and he asks, do you intend to move into the medical studies arena or medicine? Yes, uh, thank you for that uh, question. We had it Saturday morning as well. The... Uh, the aim of Stadio is to become a fully fledged provider of tertiary qualifications over time. Now, despite the fact that the brands that we've accomplished, um, these brands now changed into faculties, uh, over the past three years, we've added lovely qualifications, for instance, a qualification by means of which your child can become a CA, et cetera, et cetera. Now, as far as medical studies is concerned, we are definitely working on it. We are speaking to many, many parties. It is not so easy. For instance, you've got to link up with a uh, hospital or hospital group. There's a lot of protocols in place, but we are working on it. Uh, it will, would simply be a false statement if I say we are close. We are, we've made a lot of pro progress. Um, we really believe that in time it will be possible to do it, but it will still take uh, time to, to uh, you know, uh, get to that achievement. Thank you. Okay, another question. Do Curo learners, understanding that they meet the requirements to be enrolled, will they be given preference to study? Right, Atalisha, I'll take that one. Look, I have the privilege to uh, look back at the career where I worked in the state sector and with literally thousands of Kiro children. Obviously, it's the regulator that determines the criteria. 
The best and honest answer I want to give you is as follows. If your youngster applies for a particular course, I assure you, you don't have to wait. You will get a same day reply from us. Uh, we call it a conditional offer. So the moment you apply, the moment you submit your academic record, we will give you a reply. You will know that very same day whether you have been accepted or not. Then, of course, in our back offices the next couple of days, we do a further scru a scrutiny of the data you gave us to make sure the integrity is there. Now, please bear in mind, Stadio is still a young brand. We are not in the same situation as the publics where we already uh, have a demand that's much, much bigger than the ability to supply. So if a Kiro child applies for a degree, if your academic record status adheres with the criteria of that degree, we will allow you. Thank you for that. So I see there's a couple of questions about Namibia and Stadio in Namibia. So I just want to take those on to say that we have been operating for a long while in Namibia as SBS, one of our former brands. So I think these specific questions are best addressed by the Namibian office. So guys, when you're surfing the website and you see the number for the Vintuk or Ongwadiva offices, please address those questions to those um, individuals who are experts. However, if you feel there's something you need an answer to from us, please address hello at stadio.ac.za and I'll be happy to answer those questions. Are there any other questions? So just an answer to one that I see here, when will applications open? Applications are opened as we speak right now. If you go onto our website, the application portal is live. You can interact with us. You can apply to us immediately right now, today. So please go on and um, apply now. And then I see a second question. Um, how can we contact you? Guys, as I said earlier, we have our one number, which is 0871585000 as well as our email addresses. Oh, I see an exciting one. Will architecture soon become a part of the Stadio offer? Yep, we are working on architecture, uh, most definitely. Uh, I refer to the picture of the national qualification framework that we uh, showed you. We already have a couple of uh, qualifications more or less at NQF level five that leads you into a degree uh, that makes you a fully fledged architect. We are not yet there, but for the past three years, also under my auspices as CEO, we've appointed a top, top group of people that started to write the written curricula of architectural design, etc. So, uh, yes, it is definitely. Uh, one of our aims. Coming soon. Uh, <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, any other questions that we can answer for you? We have a minute to go. Okay, one last one. Will it be saved on YouTube? Yes, this video will be available on YouTube for a limited time as we have a second webinar that is happening later this week. So the recording will also be sent out so you can review anything that was said or any of the materials. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, um, I would like to thank you for participating. Chris, any final words from you? Yes, Atalisha, thank you for your presentation. I want to ask the parents and our learners. This is a young brand. Um, 20 years ago, Kiro was also a young brand and look where we are today. 
please spread the word. We are pumping in millions of rands to build beautiful campuses. We already have a couple, but we are building a beautiful one in Century City. We are building a beautiful one in Durbanville that will be up and ready in the next year or two. Um, so please spread the word and phone us up. I know in 45 minutes, it's impossible to cover all the detail. But once you apply, um, the people behind your email will start liaising with you. And in the process, you will literally have all your unanswered questions answered. Thank you so much, Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for your attendance and for engaging with us this evening. It has been a phenomenal experience and a privilege. I look forward to speaking to you again when you're ready to register with Stadio. Thank you and goodbye. Bye -bye.